Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, so I'm going to try a little experiment today. As everybody knows, uh, Rangers are my favourite manager at the moment. So what I've done is, the favourite for the job at the moment is Derek McInnes. So I've put him in charge of the team and I'm going to see how the uh, how they're doing, how he does as Rangers manager. So let's get to the league. So the Premier League... So this is his first season in charge. Uh, I never followed it on the end, so he's been in charge for the very first day of the season. Celtic won the league um, by 81 points. Celtic, uh, Aberdeen were second with 69, and Rangers were third with 64. So as you can see, he, uh, he played 38 games in the league. He won 19, drew 7 and lost 12. It's not very good. So, um, let's see. As player stats, Kyle Laffey, top goal scorer, Patrick Roberts, Lewis Moult. No Rangers players in any of these figures. So let's jump into the Rangers team. So, um, so he's made a few changes. In fact, we'll go to transfers first. Transfer history. Right. So he's made it. He put a few players in. Let's start with the players he's brought in. He's brought in Christopher Gamblad, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, who's a right back. He's Martikis International. Um, looks a solid player. So he played six games. 19 non competitive for the was playing under 21s and he's got a 6.59, so not a very good return there. He brought in Abudu Diara, who has got 44 caps for France. He's a defensive midfielder. His physicals are fair away, mentals are okay actually for this level. Um, technique, it's okay. So he's played 11 games in the league, 12 games in total, and he's got a 6.67. So he's signing so far, I've been a bit uninspiring. He then brought in Jokimain Munga, who is an attacking midfielder, by the looks like a striker, who played three games, well, five games in total over the season, uh, 11 as substitute, and got a 6.3. So another failure, he's now on the transfer list. Scott McLean came in, who is under 21s. He's actually, why is it saying? So signed from on a free for Kamarnock. He doesn't look like he's a world beater, to be fair, but we'll see what happens. He brought in Ventura as a goalkeeper for Portugal. Um, played 20, 26 games, conceded 24, and got a 6.87. Um, don't think he's any better than what Big Wes in the game, to be fair. He uh, brought in Jeff Allardyd from Arsenal, um, who is an attacking midfielder, left, right, centre. He played, we'll go to history here for this one. He played 33 games, scored 7 goals, 8 assists, 3 man of the matches and a 7.7, .7, so 7.07. .07. So that's actually not a bad signing there on loan. He brought in Ruud Boymans. I've kind of heard of this guy before. A 29-year-old 29 29 year Dutchman. He played 1 game as a sub and got a 6.10. Another unexpiring Signing by the looks of it. We brought in Maxima, Maximilian Bista. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Who is another attacking midfielder. He managed to get four and four substitute appearances 
uh, previously with Melbourne Victory and Mays in Germany. Um, he's four appearances, four substitute appearances, he's got a 6.92. So he doesn't seem to have used his signs a lot. Um, next, he's brought in Alan Patterson, who is a regen by the looks of it. Um, just an under 21 player from Ross County. He's made one appearance, he got a six in it. Um, he's attacking midfielder, as that unexpiring again? Don't see it in there. Um, Jean Daniel Akpa Akpro, who's a 25 year old right back midfielder, defensive midfielder. Um, He's not played any matches yet. I think he must have came in. Yeah, I think it, the, the, he's like a sort of newer one. Um, shoot. And the last but not least, Nazir Alagini. Alagini, I think it is. Who's an Albanian right back. He must have come in at the end of the uh, left back. He's come at the end of the season as well, so he's not played any games yet. So he let Josh Windass go out. It's, it's not we don't really mind about the run. So Jane Jimmy Valjonas is left to go to St Johnston in a free transfer. Um, he's played two games for St Johnston. Um, no, sorry, five games altogether for St Johnston. He's got six point six three. Looks like he was on loan at Dunfermline last season, getting twenty nine goals and four appearances. Let's have a look here. Yeah, tw 29 appearances, 4 goals, 4 assists, 1 played a match and a 6.69. Um, and St John's stuff picked him up in a free transfer at the end of the season. Um, next at left on the permanent was Josh Windass for 105,000. Um, he went on to Millwall, so at Millwall he played 38 games, scored 2 goals, 6 assists to play the matches. And who else to go? Lee Hodgson left as well. He moved on to South End where he made four appearances. So I don't see much there to say. Um, so players that are left in the team, he's got Herrera, Cardoso, Morelles, Jack, Pena. So let's have a look at some of these players. How did Herrera do? So Herrera played 14, well, eight, nine, 18 games, 19 substitute he got a 6.9 overall nine goals and two assists um on a return there uh, let's see right let's sort it by appearances fabian cadosa 53 appearances he made the last season uh, no goals five assists he got a 6.94 um, still get decent stats, still quite a young player, hopefully he can push on. Jason Holt, also 35 appearances, 43 all together with cups and things. He got a 7.13 overall, um, so not too bad there. Ryan Jack and Bruno Alves next. Um, Appearances. So it's used quite a lot of um, Pedro Casinas team. Um, you know, the likes of Peña, 19 appearances, 10 goals return by Peña. Morelis is 16 goals return, 7.1. So he's not had too bad a role. Um, let's see what his tactics are. So he's playing a 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, it doesn't really give me any more information than that. Here, um, under 21 squad. So I don't I don't have a lot of information to show you to be fair. So yeah, so at the end of the, the thing, let's go to history, competitions. Um,
let's see so so a third place in the Premier League this season Scottish Cup so we're running up the Scottish Cup Betafred Cup they're not in they're not in Scottish Cup no Betafred Cup they are in sorry they won the Betfred Cup 2017. So they won a cup. So he's, he's got to the final of the Scottish Cup and he's won the League Cup and he's finished third in the table. So what I'm going to do is that's the end of the first season. What I'm going to do is I'll play through to I'll hold it through to the, the end of the, the second season and see if he's still in charge and see if he's managed to main, mount a better challenge with Celtic. So, I'll see you shortly. Held on to his job. Um, so, let's have a look at the Premier League. So, they've moved up a place. Last season, they finished third, finished second behind Celtic. Um, Celtic finished 23 points ahead. So, they've still not closed that gap um, on them. Aberdeen were five points behind. Have they still got Alex McLeish as their manager? Um, do, do, do stuff. They have Alex McLeish, yep. Um, so, a funny thing. Uh, let's see if, it's still, if he's still there. I think he actually gets sacked. But yeah, no, he's not been. Look who's a uh, Hearts manager, Pedro Cushinia. Yeah. <laughs> So, just before we go into the Rangers, let's have a quick look at Celtic, because I know some of the guys who might watch this, the, the channel may be Celtic fans, so let's just have a, a quick look at what they have done, who they have signed, what they've got. So if we go to their transfer, this is how they're winning so much. If we go to their transfer history, right, we'll go to last season. So last season, they... Brought in 43.5 million. They lost uh, Kiernan Tierney for up to 44 million. They lost uh, Dembele for 17.5 million. And they lost Derek Bayouata for 1.1 million. So, and I don't know who this guy is, but they, a few players left. So they had to obviously spend a bit of money to replace them. So they brought in this Daniel Lacasso La guy and a few others. So they spent 26 million. And then if you move on to this season, where they've just won 23 points ahead, they oh they got Jack Walsh on the free transfer. They spent 19 million and brought in 12. Who did they get to bring in 12 million for? So uh, Sevchenko left for 4 million. Aya, Aja 3.2. Simona Ramonovic 2.5, Johnny Hayes 1.7 and so on um, and then they brought in Marcus Coco, nobody other than the I thought I just seen Jack Ulsher there Aye, Jack Ulsher, don't really notice seeing them and a back, um, yeah, we've done it okay. So this is the money they are spending now. If we go back to the Rangers now, transfer history. Um, remember last season, spent zero, brought in one hundred and thirty thousand, but this season they have managed to. Bring in 8.5, so they get 1. 5.5 uh, 5 for Pena, they got 1.3 for Tavernier, they got 1.3 for um, Donald Love, 120k for Harry For Forrester, they got rid of Rude Wyman's for 120k, and they got a wee bit of money in there. And if you look who they've signed, Donald Love, who never actually played a game. And get sold. So he bought for 1.2 million, and then he was sold for 1.3 million. Um, so there you go. Um, 
and then they brought in as well Ellis Anderson, who looks like a decent player. He is 23 year old, so he's got quite a bit of time to go. So yep, it should be able to do a job for him. Um, I don't think I need to go through them all. So the MD, MD stands out that you'd want to see. They brought in Gordon Gear. I don't understand that one. Um, only played nine times. He's obviously just a backup. And uh, they see Ben Sheaf from Arsenal, defender. Looks good. Twenty-four appearances. Done not bad. And another Arsenal defender, stroke defensive midfielder. Twelve appearances. Again, looks a decent player. So the usual loan market. Well, three actually. There's another Arsenal player. So they've obviously got a good tie up with Arsenal, a tank midfielder, 12, 12 appearances, 12 goals. Why don't we look at more into this uh, later? So you can see the difference in where Rangers and Celtic are both working at the moment. Um, again, in new life, it's the same. A couple of young players in that brought in. So let's go back to the oh, go, oh, competitions, senior squad. Um, so, is this for a new season? Can I change this? So they won the Betfred Cup. They got knocked out by Celtic in the uh, quarterfinals of the Scottish Cup. Uh, it doesn't say how they done in Europa League. Maybe history competitions. So let's see. If it tells me here, um, it's not really telling me much here. So, it's yeah, two seasons in a row they've won the Betfred Cup. Um, so, let's have a look at his squad now. Um, so, Agim Agabrimi, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, who's a Macedonian um, attacking midfielder, uh, played 34 times, 13 goals, 9 assists, a 7.29 overall, um, sorry, 39, 39 appearances in total, 15 goals, 12 assists, and a 7.29, so that's quite a good return. Uh, how much did they pay for him? 375,000. How much is he worth now? 5.5 million. So that's a good good buy by Derek McInnes. Uh, Herrera, we've already looked him before. He's made 43, 18 goals, 7 pains, a, a 6.9. Candias, 7.2. Holt. Try to see if there's any of the new signings um, up there. Um, Skodias, a Greek right-sided defender, obviously with Tavernier leaving. He made 22 appearances, a 7.2, a decent return there. Uh, ben Britton, Israeli right-back, he 20, 31 appearances, a 7.56, that's a good return there. So what's he got? He's got three goals, one assist. Um, solid looking defender, not bad pace, good stamina. He uh, plays the right back spot quite well. Um, we also got Adia up here. Um, 20 international cats, 25 year old. Um, he took over for the 7.05. Looks like he's, he's basically been ahead of Lee Wallace in the game. So it's not too bad. Ellis Anderson, 23 year old. He's. Uh, let's do this. So, well, there's Ryan McLaughlin. He said the guy was with Hearts last season. This season, even. No, he was Aberdeen. I'm knowing. Liverpool. Former Liverpool player. He's came in. He's not really played. He's done well when he's came on. Um, Trev. Wait, who's this guy? Striker, 27 year old Norwegian. 10 appearances, 4 goals. He is wanted by 
Dundee, 120,000. Okay, uh, so let's quick look at his tactics. So he's still playing the 4 2 3 1 formation, um, and it seems to be working out alright for him. So what I'll do again guys is I'll go through another season and see if Denny McInnes is still going to be Rangers manager. Hi guys and welcome back. Well you just haven't been anywhere. I've been somewhere, but never been. Um so we've moved on another season. Um so league table Celtic have won the league again. So this is eight in a row they've won now. But Rangers are within seven points, so they're slowly catching up. Um, well ahead of Hibs. There's no no surprises here at all. In fact, I don't think anything's changed. Other festival happened in the Hearts, Kamarnock, Motherwell, St Mirren. St Mirren's only one different. Ross County have dropped out, and St Mirren have come in here. Um, so. That's the only, the only difference I can see there. So this season, Morelis, top goal scorer, well, joint top scorer with Chris Cadden's now at Aberdeen, and Coco, a Celtic, all in 15 goals. Uh, Bruno Alves, second best player. He must be a fair age now. He is 38 and still going. Um, so he's second best player in Scotland. Uh, and the most assist is Abrimi and Jack. And yeah, so the Rangers players are now starting to come in to play. They've narrowed the gap down to seven points. There's two seasons left. Now let's see if Derek McInnes is still Rangers manager. So yep, Derek McInnes is still Rangers manager. He's now got rid of... Jonathan Johansson is his assistant and got Tommy Doherty, who was his assistant at Aberdeen. So, uh, any difference here? I've still got Mark Allen. Don't really know about the rest of the players. I never, uh, staff I never really checked. Marty's still here. Doing his handstands. Um, so, let's have a look and see. Right, Ryan Jack, mainstay. No, in fact, what am I doing first? Transfers, history. Right, so we brought in Malcolm McKee, who is a youngster. He's got really good physicals actually. Decent pace, decent fitness, leadership's 12, that's pretty good. Teamwork 16, work great. 11, uh, determination 7. But yeah, he could be actually a decent a decent player. Um, David Anderson, so a lot of free transfer. We spent one. 1,200 um, so is there any so here a left by Egyptian left back we got him in a free and he's uh, worth 8.25 million uh, to do just some youngsters there Sebastian Boxday 33 year old defender Yeah. So another Egyptian, Hefis. I didn't know why Derek McInnes had so many Russian uh, Egyptian connections. Uh, to be fair, two seconds. I just fixed my camera here. Um. Yeah. So there's he's made. 41 appearances all together. Well, that's oh yeah, it's over a whole season. So in the league, he's got 6.3. So, um, not bad. And Zabusas, 29-year-old Lithuanian goalkeeper. He's not played any games. So let's see who left. Ryan McLaughlin, who just came in. Went to Blackburn for a 222,000. So that's a major loss we've took there. Uh, he went to Dundee, he went to Magunka. Uh, he got a free anyway. 
never really done much. What? Am I underlying here? here? Right, it just says there that he went 192021. 20, I'm on the wrong back. No. Ah, anyway. Right, get myself confused. Uh, so, he left, he left. Uh, Capillo has left as well, so. No major. Um, outs, uh, Robin Mc Ross McCory did really well just now. He's actually coming into quite a good play here. So that's in 22. I expect him to be used a bit more this season. He played for ha made four appearances for Rangers and ten for Hamilton last season. Um, so hopefully, I can see him getting used a lot more in the coming season. Yeah, but um, else. Aiden Wilson, he's another good defender. Um, yep, yeah, start the quite a player. Played two games for Rangers and 32 for St. Mirren. Um, so he, he's only 21 year old, so quite a few. Rudden, developing a decent player. Joe, who I've not seen. And, uh, yeah, I'll have a wee look at the routine in a minute. So, Probably another couple of youngsters, no day too exciting. Let's have a look at the loans for Chelsea. So first time we've not had any loans for Arsenal. George McCracken. Um, Alright. Ethan Impui. Decent defender again. So let's look at the players. So senior squad. Appearances so Ryan Jack, most appearances have been seven point one eight. We've got Hefs, who was here again. He's a left back. He's a six point nine five. Wes Fallingham, again keeping the number one berth there. Uh, Abrimi, fourteen goals, fourteen assists. Uh, Big Bruno still kicking up. Can't remember that guy. When did we get him? Um, so he's alright. Darren Hill. So he's a regen. Getting some game time. Uh, Joe Dodder is still there. Ross is still there. Yakubi. Finish six caps looks okay. Uh, Andy Halliday's back. Has he played any? any he made eight appearances for Rangers. Um, so, yep. Yeah, so I said I'd have a quick look at the youth squad. So in the youth squad, I've got Callum Smith. He's a striker. He looks like a decent prospect. Uh, Ross McCrory, we've looked at him already. Lou Stroop, again, I think we signed him from Dundee, no, from Morton. Looks a decent enough player. Aidan Wilson, we've looked at him. McLaughlin is a regen, is he can throw it, yep, regen. De another regen. Rudden, I had a quick look at him, didn't we? Here's a young guy I want to have a look at. He comes in. He's, he's apparently really highly rated. He's only 18, so he starts the game what, three seasons in. He must start the game at 15, 16. Um, as you can see, look at the pace, Dan Emma. He's physically pretty good, um, and he's starting to develop into quite a good player. So he's one to keep an eye on. He played for the Fairland last season, 35 goals and 35 games and 11 goals. Um, do you know what I was looking for? What happened to Ryan Hardy and Robbie McCrory to take it like that? I've just not noticed.
Right, so Ryan Hardy is now a free agent. Uh, he'd be a decent player for a for a team. Um, not really had a chance. Ever in the Inverness two seasons ago, played six games last season, but he was in Inverness and he played 42 and scored 14. So, and let's see. Yeah. Sorry, my spelling's a trail issue, isn't it? Spelling this don't let on. Try to be quick I'm doing. Hey, I'm so, I'm sure that his brother would be favoured personnel. Oh, ah, there we go. So he's at the felon now. He got a free transfer. From Rangers, um, he obviously feels like a decent goalkeeper too. Doesn't seem to be yet, but you never know. Uh, so let's go back to obviously what we're doing here. So overview competitions. Did they win it? Oh, captain. We've now got Bruno Alves, Ryan Jack, key player Cardoso. And hot prospect Darren Hill. Um, so here we go. Overview competitions, senior squad. So we finished saying again, Celtic won the, we won the bet for the cup. So I think that's like three years in a row. We've won the Bet Fred Cup. So, um, we're still not, we're still not getting by this. So, what I'll do, guys, is I'll forward on another season and then we'll see if Denver Kennedy is still Rangers manager and if he's managed to top all Celtic yet. Hi, right, guys. So, I've moved on another season. This is, as you can see, Celtic have now won 9, nine in, I think it was, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, maybe more, 1, 2, 3, 4, right. so, right, 2011, is that 10 I've won then? 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, Celtic are now on ten in a row. So Derek McInnes couldn't stop it. So they won the the lead by thirty one points this season. So let's jump in to Rangers and we'll go to the staff and all. Is yep, Derek McInnes is still manager. Of Rangers. So uh, let's quickly go overview of competitions, senior squad. Right, so they won the Scottish Cup this time, they never won the Bet Fred Cup after winning it. Yeah, I think it was like three seasons in the trot. But as you can see, it's not looking good for Rangers. And Celtic now get 10 in a row, so as Derek McKinnon's the man to stop Celtic winning 10 in a row, a county football manager. No, he's not. He still is a Rangers manager, so let's just have a look through. We'll go to transfers. So he got to spend 1.8 million, he brought in 2.8. So he's made a profit of a million pounds. Let's see who left. Neza Agger left for 1.9, got up to 2 million. Mika. Nor Eggleston went to his for 950,000. 
Jan Daniel Apahakopo went for 135,000. Alex Fogic um, went to Hearts for 35,000. And Noor Engel. Oh no, that's changed, sorry. There's one more there. Jordan Houston went to St Johnston for 35k. So who did he bring in? He brought in Alex Sander, I'm not going to try and see that name. Um, so he's a, a midfielder. That looks actually pretty good. Oh, there's, a, there's one. We'll look at that in a wee second. Thomas Gugard. The old DD, um, 27 year old Norwegian left back. He's obviously to replace um, a Jew who, who left the club. Um, we have also got. Uh, uh, I just it? No, it wasn't defensive midfielder, so a good 28 year old Nigerian came in as well. And oh, Liam Henderson. I'll look at a couple of other ones in a minute. This one stood out to me. Because if this were, I think it is, former Celtic man. So he, I can't remember when I've ever seen somebody actually go straight from Rangers to Celtic. That's what's happened here. Um, yeah. So Liam Henderson signed for Rangers directly for Celtic. Everton Louise, another midfielder. Um, there's nobody else there that really rings a bell. Um, yep. So let's have a look at the squad. Uh, we'll go with average rating. No, in fact, that's a wrong faking view. Is it? Ah, there we go. I'm just feeling a bit blind today. So Ben Britton made the most appearances, making 37 appearances and get a 7.224. So that was a good, good season from him. Big ways following him still the number one goalkeeper. Michael Agu, who is a Nigerian new signing, who made 33 appearances in the league, getting a 6.74. Um, Hope still here, still playing. He made 26 appearances in the league for 7.9. And he's off the ball. Uh, actually, looks like a very well-rounded midfielder there at 28 year old. Cardoso, he was getting rave reviews. At the start of the game, he's turned into a decent player. Um, and I was to see how they done. Morelos, he's uh, 21 appearances, 9 goals in the league. Uh, so, I must have missed something somewhere because. I can't remember Herrera and that leaving. Right, so you've got you're out on one season here. Because it usually comes up when players retire and things like that. I'm taking it Bruno Alves must have retired. Um, and Herrera maybe retired, I don't know. In the 21 squad. Yep. So anyway guys, that was it was just a quick video to see if uh, Derek McInnes would be the man to stop Celtic winning 10 in a row. Celtic won 10 in a row. But he kept a job and he, he finished he finished third one season right, third this season here 
and then twice second. Um, but he never closed the gap. Um, so, yep. If you want me to do more of these experiments and things, let me know below. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, let me know what you think about rain, uh, Derek McKinney's being Rangers manager. But uh, thanks very much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you next time.